How are you? I hope this finds you as well as can be. All right, so where are we at? Let's do a little warm up. The bass sound of the drum is not picked up. So when I play goon, it's just a thud. It sounds so nice in here, and I'm sorry you're not in here with me to hear it. It's just a thud. Sorry about that, we're doing the best we can. Downward, so that you can see my feet keeping the pulse, and you can see my hands playing. So we'll do bass, our goon. Everyone please take goon position, find your good triangle, see how my hands are not parallel. See what happens to my wrists. Keep them parallel. Notice that my elbows do go out a little bit when that happens, that's okay. And keep your hands nice and flat, by the way, whether in the air or on the drum. Hold the shape. Keep the shape of the hand and slide the hands back, tracing the line of your own triangle. So you can see my triangle here, yes? That's, that's really just from use. And as I trace the lines of my own triangle, notice my hands part. Some of you are still playing with your hands too close together for goto and pata, be sure to allow them to separate, okay? That helps your technique. Remember to keep the thumbs up for goto and to land on that fleshy part at the bottom of your palm, right across here between the knuckles, and if you maintain your triangular shape with your fingertips pointed to that triangle tip out there, then no knuckles will be harmed in the drumming of godos. Then slide over the ball of the hand, spread the fingers, land on the rim across the center of the palm where it's a nice fit. Yeah, thumbs up so you don't get an ouchie here. And yes, I need to Remind you of that all the time because I still hear from students from long, long ago that they're still bruising their thumb knuckles. Keep them up. And open the fingers wide and allow the fingers to detach and fall onto the drum head, just touching the pads of each fingertip. You have space under here, remember? It's not flat. There is space, okay? And susus, whether you play with your training wheels or in the air, maintaining a staccato movement, up to you. Okay? Yay! So here we go. Let's play bass, goon, tone, goto, slap, pata, silent notes, susu, and we will do eight of each. One and two and three and four and is the count. I'll move along at a good clip because we've been doing this for a long time, even though we haven't integrated slap and susu for all that long. I know you can do it. Hey, let's do it. So I'll give you your air drum tempo and then we'll all land on the goon. And remember, anytime you fall out of rhythm, go to your air drum and then jump on in. Eight of each. Here's your tempo. One and two and three and four and go and four and go to and four and pata and four and susu and four and go. strokes, but this time only four of each stroke, okay? One and two and is the count. 
I'll give you your air drum tempo and we'll pull it back a little bit, a little slower. Remember to breathe. Here we go. One and two and go. Goon, goon, go, do, pa, ta, su, su. Goon, goon, go, do, pa, ta, su, su. All right. The changes do come more quickly, so if you fall out of the rhythm, definitely air drum for a moment to fall back into the rhythm so that you know what the tempo is. One and may not be enough information, so I'll give you the full cycle in your air drum all the way through su, su, and then we'll all be able to land on goon together. Okay. Goon, goon, go, do, pa, ta, su, su. Goon, goon, go, do, pa, ta, su, su. not just to hear my words describing to you good technique, but to give your body memory more practice, more time with that kinesthetic awareness of the shape and placement of the hands. Technique is all about shape and placement of the hands, not about speed, not about force. So it's really just about, you know, not, not the velocity you bring to it, but, um, or how hard you hit your drum. It's about the shape and placement of your hand to make your drum sing so that the godos sound like godos, the patas sound like patas, and so that it's just not blah, 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 but sounds go pata, pata. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your djembe lesson. Let's do some more of this. Let me know how you're doing and what you'd like. Please watch this video next for further inspiration and see you soon.